After 24 years representing Connecticut in the Senate, Joe Lieberman is serving his last few days in Congress. A former Democrat, Lieberman is one of the few independents in Washington, and straddling the two parties hasn't always been easy, as he discussed with Ed O'Keefe in another of our series of congressional exit interviews. Congratulations on your forthcoming retirement. Thank you. Do you have any regrets about how you comported yourself during the 2008 campaign and that you didn't supported your friend John McCain? No, I have no regrets about it. I understood it entirely in that case why a lot of Democrats were angry at me. Um, it was harder for me in other cases where we disagreed on issues because generally speaking, I, I've, I've agreed with most Democrats on, on most issues. But okay, that's all over and we're going forward. Well, one of the reasons I asked those because you had made clear at the time that you were gonna be a positive endorser of McCain and not necessarily a critic of uh, then Senator Obama. You yeah. then though, however, gave that speech at the convention. Yeah, so okay, I mean a fair question because when I went out and spoke for John, certainly when I endorsed him, it was all positive based on his record, based on his experience. He was so far and away most experienced. Uh, but you're right, at the convention, most of my speech was very positive about John McCain. There was like two or three sentences in there where I compared him to uh, Senator Obama, then Senator Obama, based on experience. Senator Barack Obama is a gifted and eloquent young man who I think can do great things for our country in the years ahead. But my friends, eloquence is no substitute for a record. Not in these tough times. I actually had a compliment to Obama as if to say he's not quite my first choice now, but he he's going to get better. So I didn't think that was too tough, but uh, you tell you the truth, if I had it to do over again, I would have left out those few you sentences. Would I would have, because it, it wasn't what, it, what I was really about, although, it, you know, I, I mean, I didn't say anything I didn't believe in terms of relative experience, but uh, it, it wasn't necessary to what I was uh, doing at that convention, which was to support, affirmatively support my friend John McCain. Then Senator Obama had to come back here to cast a vote. You two famously ended up in a dark corner of the Senate <laughs> chamber. And uh, words were exchanged. Now that you're leaving with no political consequence, you care to share what was discussed in that? It was really mostly a private conversation. It wasn't as, as tough as, it was, it was serious at one point about uh, what, what was going on in the campaign. But you know, also as part of that conversation, he said to me, I, I congratulated him because it was clear he had clinched the nomination at that point. And um, uh, he said to me, look, I, I thank you, but I, I understand that one of the reasons I have the opportunity I have now is because of uh, what you've done in the past. I didn't know whether he meant, uh, either way he meant it, I was grateful that I had been in the civil rights movement or, and I think he probably meant this, that I had run as the first Jewish American running for national office. So in that sense, I broke a barrier. And maybe he felt that opened the doors wider for him. It was a very gracious thing for him to say. A lot of people around here have a great respect and admiration for the fact that you're such a devout Jewish man. Uh, in fact, the Senate calendar has sometimes bent to your <laughs> observation of the Sabbath. Um, you famously have walked several times from your home in Georgetown here to the Capitol for, for uh, for votes, for Saturday proceedings, but, and, and someone reminded me that actually your relationship with Al Gore actually kind of grew out of the fact that he mm -hmm. helped you on some late Friday nights and Saturday. I think you call him your, your Shavos Goy, is that the expression? <laughs> well, in limited circles they do. I mean, <laughs> so I knew Al before I came to the Senate a little bit. Um, when I first came here on the first weekend, we had to be here for votes and I knew it was gonna be Friday night and Saturday so I couldn't walk back and forth. It was, uh, um, so I was actually gonna sleep on a cot in the Senate gym. So he came over to me on the floor of the Senate and um, said, what are you gonna do tonight? Where are you gonna sleep? And I said, the cot in the gym. Oh no, I've got a, my folks have a, 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 an apartment across the street, and this is God's will, in a building called The Methodist, okay? <laughs> and uh, they're not there, and I'm sure they'd love to have you. So I, I said, okay. So he walked, he, he was familiar with uh, observant Jewish practices. So he, uh, he walked me over. He knows that I'm not supposed to turn on lights. He turned on lights in particular places and made sure I was settled and left. And it was a very thoughtful thing for him to do. I'd be remiss as we wrap to not ask you, do you ever sit and think, 
gosh, if only we'd found 600 more votes in Florida, how things would be so different? Yeah, I, it's not my nature to do that. I mean, I, I can't tell you that when I think back to 2000, one of the thoughts, feelings I have is frustration, anger about how it ended. Although I must say, uh, the whole experience was an amazing experience. I mean, way beyond anything I dreamed of. Again, gratitude to Gore for giving me the opportunity. Gratitude to the American people for vindicating Al Gore's confidence that they would not vote against me because I was a member of a minority religion. We did, you know, get a half million more votes than Bush and Cheney. Did you know that? Details. Yeah. yeah. But of course, the way it ended <laughs> was, uh, you know, it will always be there. But I was raised in a family that taught me life is about today and tomorrow, not yesterday. So, and look, I've had 12 wonderful years in the Senate since 2000. Probably, well, I'd say definitely the most productive uh, of my years in the Senate. So I got a lot to be grateful for. Senator Lieberman, thank, thank you, you so Ed. much. Pleasure. Appreciate it. I think you're ready for prime time. No. <laughs>